Ever wondered what would happen if AI took over the world? No, not the alien invasion type, but something more subtle, more bureaucratic. Imagine a world where our everyday lives are dominated by artificial intelligence. No, I'm not talking about a robo-apocalypse. Instead, picture your smartphone's autocorrect feature gone wild. You type a heartfelt message to your boss, but autocorrect decides to spice things up with some unexpected word swaps. Or think about a time when an AI-generated art piece looked less like a Picasso and more like a psychedelic nightmare of colors and shapes. Yes, those are the kinds of AI we're dealing with here. Artificial intelligence, or AI, has been creeping into our lives, subtly influencing our decisions, guiding us, and sometimes hilariously failing us. It's like that overzealous friend who always wants to help but doesn't quite get it right. You know the one. But let's get serious for a moment. The rise of AI isn't just about comical errors or absurd art. It's about a technology that is increasingly shaping our world and the need for some ground rules. Enter the United Nations, the world's referee, stepping in to ensure that AI doesn't turn into an unruly teenager. You see, the United Nations General Assembly has approved the first ever resolution on AI. This resolution emphasizes the need for global cooperation to ensure AI is beneficial for all nations, respects human rights, and is, well, safe and trustworthy. It's like the UN is saying, hey, AI, we're watching you, play nice. This resolution is a significant step towards governing AI technology on a global scale. It's about making sure that AI doesn't just serve a select few, but everyone. It's about ensuring that AI respects our rights, our values, and our safety. So, next time when your autocorrect decides to rewrite your text into something hilariously inappropriate, remember, the UN is on it. AI might be a rising force, but it's got some global oversight to keep it in check. So the UN is basically the world's parent saying, play nice with the AI kids. But what does it mean when the UN steps in? Is it like when your mom steps in because you and your brother can't decide who gets the last slice of pizza? Well, in a way, yes. The United Nations, or UN, is like the world's mom, stepping in to make sure everyone plays nice. And in this case, the pizza they're divvying up is artificial intelligence, or AI. So what's the big deal with this UN resolution? Picture it as a global group chat, where the UN is the group admin and all the countries are sending in their read receipts. The resolution, sponsored by the United States and co-sponsored by a whopping 123 countries, is a major group decision. It's like everyone agreeing to use the same Wi-Fi password to make sure no one gets left out. The resolution emphasizes the need for cooperation, because let's face it, when it comes to AI, we're all in this together. It's like a massive multiplayer online game where everyone needs to collaborate to beat the final boss. The resolution also stresses respecting human rights in the AI context. Remember when your mom told you to share your toys? Well, it's the same principle here. The UN wants to make sure that AI benefits all nations, not just the ones with the biggest toy boxes. The resolution also highlights the importance of making AI safe and trustworthy. It's like installing a security system in your home. You want to feel safe and secure, knowing that the AI won't go rogue and start making its own decisions, like deciding to turn your coffee machine into a popcorn maker. The UN also wants to regulate AI systems to prevent improper or malicious use. Think of it as a neighborhood watch for AI, keeping an eye out for any shady activity. So it's not just about pizza, it's about making sure everyone gets a slice of the AI pie. You know how some people still use flip phones in 2024? That's what we call a digital divide. Now, this isn't about poking fun at Aunt Betty, who insists on using her trusty flip phone from the early 2000s. No, this is about the gap between those who are plugged into the digital age and those who are, well, still waiting for the dial-up connection to kick in. You see, the digital divide isn't about whether you have the latest iPhone or the fanciest smartwatch. It's about access and understanding. It's about ensuring that everyone, regardless of where they live or how much money they have, can participate in this digital world we're creating. That's where this United Nations resolution steps in, like a tech-savvy superhero aiming to bridge this digital divide. Imagine if the world was a giant game of digital tag and some people didn't even know they were playing. That's essentially what's happening. 
Now picture this. Bob, a farmer from a remote village, finally gets a smartphone. Bob, excited to use his new device, accidentally orders 200 chickens online instead of just two. Now Bob is not just a farmer, but also an accidental chicken mogul. And then there's Sarah, a brilliant student who's got all the book smarts, but none of the tech savvy. She tries to turn in her thesis online, but ends up posting it on a public forum for cat memes. Now Sarah is not only a student, but also an unexpected cat meme influencer. These funny examples highlight the importance of digital literacy and accessibility. We need to ensure that when people step into the digital world, they aren't just thrown into the deep end. They need to know how to swim, or at least float, in this digital sea. The United Nations resolution is all about making sure that everyone has a life jacket, a guide, and a fair shot at participating in the digital world. It's about ensuring that we're all playing the same game and that we all know the rules. And remember, it's not about having the latest iPhone. It's about being a part of the digital world. So AI, a technological angel or a digital devil, or perhaps a robotic Robin Hood? The world of artificial intelligence is full of contradictions and conundrums. It's like a cosmic sitcom where our protagonist AI is both the hero and the villain all at the same time. Picture this, AI is a benevolent babysitter, keeping a watchful eye on your smart home while you're away. It's making sure your cat doesn't set the house on fire by knocking over a candle. But plot twist, it's also the cunning cat, plotting to turn your smart toaster into a mini fireworks show because it got bored of toasting bread. And that's the beauty and the chaos of AI. It's as good or as bad as we program it to be. It's like a mirror, reflecting our intentions and capabilities for better or worse. It's a tool, not a tyrant, unless we let it become one. The United Nations, in its infinite wisdom, has recognized this duality. They've sponsored a resolution to ensure that our AI companions respect human rights and are safe and trustworthy. It's like an AI etiquette class, teaching our digital darlings the do's and don'ts of being a responsible member of the tech community. But let's not forget, AI, like any technology, can be subject to misuse. It's like giving a chimp a chainsaw. It might create a masterpiece of modern art, or it might just go bananas. So, the UN's focus on preventing improper or malicious use of AI is a step in the right direction. After all, we don't want our AI turning into a digital Jekyll and Hyde, do we? One minute, it's helping you find the best pizza place in town. The next, it's using your credit card to order a lifetime supply of pineapple toppings. The horror. So, AI might not steal from the rich and give to the poor, but it sure can make a mean cup of virtual coffee. So how does AI fit into the UN's grand plan for world peace and prosperity? Is there a secret AI superhero squad we don't know about? You might be wondering. Well, let's dive in. Imagine a world where AI is the Robin to the UN's Batman. The UN has a lofty goal of achieving sustainable development by 2030, and AI is just the sidekick it needs. For instance, envision AI systems that can accurately predict crop yields, helping to eradicate hunger. Picture a sassy AI with a sense of humor, of course, providing education to underprivileged children across the globe, breaking down barriers of access and inequality. Let's not forget about health. Imagine AI doctors on call 24 seven, delivering accurate diagnoses and treatment plans, even in the most remote corners of the world. Now that's what we call a healthcare revolution. And let's dream a little bigger. Imagine AI helping us to combat climate change, predicting weather patterns and natural disasters with pinpoint precision, helping us to prepare and minimize damage. Now that's a superhero I'd like on my team. But let's come back to reality. The UN's resolution is all about harnessing AI's potential while ensuring it's safe, trustworthy, and benefits all nations. It's about using AI to bridge the digital divide and advance progress while protecting citizens. While we might not see an AI superhero squad anytime soon, we can definitely expect some super changes. The UN and AI are teaming up, and it's going to be a dynamic duo you won't want to miss. Before we wrap up, let's talk about AI etiquette. Yes, it's a thing. In this brave new digital world, we need to remember to treat our AI friends with respect. Can you imagine asking Siri for the weather and she responds with a sarcastic, look out the window? Or imagine if Alexa started giving you unsolicited advice on your love life. Remember, 
a spoonful of politeness helps the AI interaction go down smoother. So next time you talk to Siri, remember to say please and thank you. She might not respond, but hey, it's the thought that counts.